Not a big story, but it's a true story. Uh, I was coming in one night all about 11 o'clock. Been up patrolling in Slacker County and going along. I looked out mm -hmm. to the left and I <clears throat> noticed light working in the timber lines out there. So these old boys working on down the way and a little bit I heard a 22 far and so I pulled under the hill, went off down there and cut my lights, came back up to the top of the hill, got out and walked out in the pasture. And so uh, they come rolling in the bouncing along there and working this light. So there I was, I was out there and I couldn't get back to the road. And wasn't a thing to do this praise the Lord that they didn't see me. And I just fell on the ground and spread it out just as flat as I could. And that grass, it had pretty good grass and I was hit there. And luck would have it, they turned to the left and when they turned to the left and started off, well I got up and went up and got in the back of the pickup. Eased up there, they going over the roof, you know, and I eased up there and I sat down in the corner. And I rode with them for about, uh, oh, I don't know, I would say uh, a good half hour or longer. And they uh, spotted a deer, a big 10-point buck. That old buck standing off out there looking at him, and that old boy's holding the light, the driver's holding the light, shining through there, and he says, uh, over to the right, up a little, <laughs> over to the left, and kept directing the lights. No, he said, want to hit him right between the eyes. A little bit where well, they had one of those old Craig <laughs> rifles, yeah. and that thing went off sound like a cannon, and he just gutted that deer. Well, the deer turned and run off down there, and about that time I bailed out, and I went around, and he had his old arm out the window, and I hit him on the arm and said, you got him, didn't he? He said, oh, my God, Craig. Well, I'd never met the man before. <laughs> well, like the rest of you, when you tell these stories through the years, there's usually so many humorous ones, it's hard to say which one might be the funniest after all, but one time, situation you were speaking of Jack on the Natures River on the Angelina River with me one time and picked up the fellow's hook nets and knew the man was standing there watching me and seeing what was going on I was making conversation with him and never did accuse him of those being his nets I just uh, piled them all up talked to him a few minutes and asked him I said uh, would you have a little uh, gas I could buy from you to he thought, I guess, I want to put it in my motor. So I, uh, he said, yes, yes. He went over and got a can and let me have some gasoline. And I walked over and poured, him on his, poured it on his nets and set them on fire. And he went back into town. He said, I've met something down on the creek today. He said, that fellow something else. He said, not only took my nets away from me, he said he got my gasoline and burned them up. Jim, uh, how about that time you got after them old boys out there? 